what is going on with art and music at the moment? If you're a cover band or a tribute band, yeah, then you can charge anything up to five, six, seven hundred quid to go and perform um, a local gig place. If you're a shit up band that with completely brand new material, which is edgy, which is just brand new and fresh and has got something real to say, then you may only get you know, five, six, seven people. Maybe if you're someone like the Moods who've been going for 10 years, you might get 70, 80. Hopefully next week in the Ritz, we'll get loads more. I'm pretty confident of it, but um, it goes to show that there is something seriously wrong. What is it that people, people are sort of like stuck in the past, they're sort of stagnated in terms of, you know, paying tribute to or getting involved in or supporting art, music and creativity which is fresh and vibrant, which is taking us forward as a as a society really, because that's what art is designed to do, basically. Art your own self expression is, is creativity is art. Um and we are influenced by these creative geniuses, these people with new fresh ideas. That's the way it works. You know um, it feels like, and it's quite evident that, you know, in the mainstream industry, you know, it's been co-opted completely. It's very much consumerist. It's very much manufactured. They have these think tanks. They have these groups of researchers who sort of like steer songwriting and image of bands and artists to fit into particular genres to, to enhance sales and what have you. You've got the likes of X Factor who... It's basically regurgitation and mimicry. I mean, that's the problem, really, is is that people want to relive um, ideas, memes, sounds, images that are from the past. It makes them feel good, you know. Like they don't really, you know, they're not really w wanting to move on so much. You know, we're stuck. Um, whereas actually, to listen to something brand new, to take a risk, to listen to something brand new, and just sort of like consume it, chew on it, feel it. Even though it's, you know, it will actually make you feel differently, and it may be odd to you, but just let it wash over you. You know what I mean, and let go of any preconceptions or and from the past. That is what can enable a human being maybe to move forward. You know, like if you talk to people with their heroes from the past, whether it be Lou Reed, whether it be John Lennon, you know, whether it be Jimi Hendrix, innovators, and art. It, with those people I'm talking about, maybe art was, was politicised. That's what art is there to do, really, is, is to move us forward, you know, and, and us to sort of, like, check out, make us reflect on our relationship with authority and society. So, you know, um, it's something I've been doing a bit promoting of bands and musicians over, you know, the last sort of, like, 10, 11 months. I really enjoyed it. Quite challenging. What just, I'm going to see a band tonight who are called Anikidada, fantastic band, well, collective of three, um, one of the best, most explosive, entertaining acts I've seen with so much to say for a long, long time. They've got an open night at, the, at Joshua Brooks tonight at the, for the Manchester Fringe Festival. Um, I really want to support those kind of acts. They've, you know, they're really important, but we need to come away from this this repetitious crap. Some of these artists from the nineties they've had the day. They are our heroes, yet yeah, we've moved on. I appreciate that some of them have still got a fan club and uh, and they're making money and what have you. But, you know, if you're a promoter, if you're a bar owner, whatever, you know, like, you have a duty and responsibility to support organic stuff, but also stuff which is actually saying something because the state of affairs needs to be addressed. So, um, looking forward to tonight. Catch you later.